Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you some different bait holder options for crab traps. So stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. All right guys, so today I'm gonna show you some different bait holder options for crab traps. Um, you may have seen in a previous video, uh, I showed you different crab traps that I've used personally. Um, I'll provide a link above so you can see those. Um, I also showed you uh, another video where I showed you how I rigged a uh, ring trap and uh, you saw one of the, um, the different bait holders that I used in that video, so. Um, I'm gonna show you the different ones that I use um, in my different traps, whether it's, you know, ring trap, like this one, um, topless traps, box traps, or whatever. You know, it, it'll work in pretty much any trap that you use. Um, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys in uh, closer so you can see the uh, different bait holder options that I use. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you a couple of bait holder options that I use for crabbing. Um, this is actually in one of my topless traps. Uh, the nice thing um, with this topless trap, this is one of those big foot ones that I mentioned before, um, is that it's got a really big footprint so you can put multiple um, holders in here so you can have quite a bit of bait. Um, you know, one of the first ways you could uh, put bait in here is you know using string, but you know string, um, it can, you know, Take a lot of time actually to um, to tie you know your chicken or whatever in here. Um, so these traps actually come with these springs, which these springs actually work okay. Um, right here, you'll see. Uh, usually, I would probably um, try to extend them out a little bit more because um, what you do is actually on the spring, you just lift it up, and then you would just you know slide your your chicken neck or whatever in there. Um, so, I mean, it works pretty good, but these springs actually do rust over time. As you'll see when I show you some of my older traps, the springs did actually rust out. Um, my Probably my personal favorite way to do it is actually using the snood with the that I made out of these bungees. So you can attach the snood by using um, zip ties, in which, you know, zip ties is another way you can actually uh, um, secure your bait to your trap. But uh, I just use the zip tie so I can um, secure the snoods. Um, there's another way to secure the snoods by actually, when you make the snood actually go underneath the, um, the trap itself. But um, the, the way these snoods work is um, if you have a piece of chicken, I'm just gonna use this clam bag for the sake of um, demonstration. So you just um, stick it inside of the snood and then this little snubber right here the snubber you just take it here see if it can not get in the way and then you just pull it down actually like this so you just pull the snubber down and that holds it you know really well in there as you can see i put more than one in here so i can have uh, multiple bait some. You could even use the clam bag itself, um, which is another option. You know, you just take the clam bag, fill it with clams. You could even fill it with whatever, chicken necks, um, bunker, uh, and then, you know, everything would be in this section of the clam bag. And then you just take snood kind of towards the end of it and snug it down and then all your bait is in here. So, of course you maybe wanna turn this so that it's, you know, kind of in the middle somehow, um, just so the crabs come into the middle of the trap. And when you pull it, you know, they're in the middle, as opposed to like, if they're like here on the side, you know, they might get away. Um, so that's how the snoo works. And this is actually probably my favorite way to do it. Um, and then the spring again, here I'll show you since I got the, um, clam back here, the spring you just lift it up just like that and then slide it underneath. It's pretty tight, so it'll actually keep it in there pretty good. 
but like I said, over time, you know, it's gonna rust out if you do crab a lot. So, you know, it holds it in there pretty good. Um, but again, I prefer using, you know, the snoods. These are, I think, uh, one eighth inch snood. Um, I did some experimentation earlier on uh, with some thicker ones. I think they were like three sixteenths, which I actually show you um, in my um, next trap. All right guys, so here's uh, another one of my traps. Um, as you can see here, um, I did quite a bit of experimentation. As you can see, this spring right here, this is one of those springs I showed you in the other trap. Um, what I did was I actually um, stretched it out because the spring was actually getting kind of loose over time. And you can see it's actually rusting now and actually very, very loose, so it actually won't work anymore. And in here, you can see I've used the uh, thicker snood as well, or bungee. Uh, this actually still works pretty good. It's just, you know, it's thicker. Um, it's a little bit harder to cinch down. So when you cinch this down, it's a little harder and then to take out the baits. It's actually not that hard to take out, but to cinch it down, um, it's a little bit harder just because it's a thicker bungee. And you can also see here, I was experimenting with, um, this is before I um, had clam bags. Uh, this little wire mesh. I was trying to experiment with some bunker because I was cast netting, got a whole bunch of uh, bunker. So I threw some in here, you know, just to see if it made a difference. And uh, the the only thing with this wire mesh uh, is that it actually caused a lot more um, friction in the water. Um, so what would happen is that uh, when I pull it up, you know, just because it has this smaller mesh, um, it would just be a little bit harder to pull up, or it just felt really heavy. Um, so really, <laughs> the better way is with some uh, clam bags. As you can see here, this is the one with the snap bait, which works really well. It actually makes it so much easier to bait and unbait um, a clam bag. So like in this instance, you could just take the snap bait, um, fill it, or you don't even have to fill it yet, but then we're just gonna put it through the snood and then just cinch it down. And that's, now that's in there. Oops, I didn't cinch it down tight enough. There you go. Yeah, so that's in there pretty good now. The beauty of the snap bait is, let's say you run out of bait, to easily change your bait, all you gotta do is just open it up, put your bait in, close it, it shuts nicely, and then uh, you know, you're ready to continue crabbing. So let me show you uh, one of the bait holder options I did in my um, ring traps, which is, um, it's kinda the same, but it's a, uh, I rigged it a little bit different so you can see you know, the different ways that you can uh, rig it. Okay, so this is my uh, ring trap. I have the uh, snood um, rigged in it. Um, when I said I rigged it a little different, um, I did not actually uh, use a, a zip tie. Um, so what I did in the process of actually uh, putting the snood on, um, I, or making the snood really, I fed the snood actually through the net netting so that it, it actually is um, just the, the actual bungee is actually wrapping around the mesh itself so I didn't have to actually secure it down with the, um, the zip tie. Um, I did actually make a video where I showed you um, how I set up my ring trap. I show you that a little bit in there. Um, so I'll provide that in a link above, but um, I'll actually do another video kind of showing more specifics on how to actually make this nude. So uh, stay tuned uh, for that video. So those were a couple of uh, different bait holder options that I like to use in my crab traps. Um, everybody's gonna have their own personal preference of what they like to use. But for me, I actually prefer using uh, the snood just cause it's a little bit easier to uh, you know, to bait and unbait. And then it's also a permanent solution, whereas if you're using something like string, you're gonna have to tie it in, um, cut it off, or even the same thing if you're gonna use like zip ties. So I really do, you know, prefer just using the snoods because um, they can use them over and over again and it's uh, very easy to bait and unbait them. 
And if you're gonna try to experiment with, you know, different types of uh, baits, like, you know, bunker or um, clams, you're gonna need like clam bags or, which would probably be the easiest way to, um, to uh, experiment with other baits that you can't really put on the snoot itself. And I'm just adding that snap bait, which I really do like this product. Um, the snap bait just makes it easy to, um, to bait and unbait a clam bag. So, you know, if I'm gonna experiment with um, different types of bait and, uh, you know, maybe one works better than the other, I could easily, you know, take out my bait with the snap bait and then uh, change it to the more effective bait. Um, so, but that's just my personal preference. You know, if you guys have any, um, you know, preferred ways that you'd like to um, hold your bait in the traps, you know, let me know in the uh, comment section below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.